All right, folks, welcome back. Today is day number one of our big golf road trip. We're getting things started off here in Jacksonville. We've got a Goodwill. We've got a Salvation Army. And a PGA Tour Superstore. Yeah, all within like 10 minutes of here. So we should be off to a uh, good start, mm -hmm. which we're going to need because it's going to be a long trip. So hopefully we get started off on the right foot, but never know what you're going to find, though. So let's go find it. Let's go find it. Dang, starting off with a banger. Check this out. We get a Ping G2 with the Aldi La NV yes. Chef going for $8. And I actually had this exact same setup in uh, high school. That was kind of a crazy. We'll pick that one up. And which one is this one? Looks like an old school tailor-made. What is that? Yep. Oh yeah, tailor-made uh, clique right there. Dang, that is, well, if the rest of the trip goes uh, this well, we're definitely yeah. in for a uh, treat. Also got some uh, fireplace uh, pokers. Not a hot seller Not a hot seller here in uh, Florida. Oh, oh, God. We got a uh, pull cart too. That would take up the entire car. Yes. Like I said, we gotta be a little selective, so. This makes a cut. This definitely makes the uh, cut. Speaking of making the cut, we already bought the uh, Ping G2, but we saw these on the way out, some Ultra Boost. Ashley's size, I don't know, those might be men's size seven. Yeah, Are they your... I think they're a little oh, big. No. I like the feeling of the intervals though. It's yeah, like they're kind of like built in. Yeah. It just goes like straight to the uh, Ultra Boost stuff. Huh. Huh. That's cool. It's my uh, road trip shoe of uh, choice, Thanks. as you guys can see, but. Maybe we'll find a uh, Maybe an ultra, another. yeah, an ultra, ultra deal. Ultra deal on some ultra boost later. But starting things off with the pink jeans yeah, <laughs> and some bad dad jokes. Really bad. <laughs> All right, next stop, Goodwill. We found a bunch of really good stuff here in the past. Also, if you're not familiar with Jacksonville, like the home of the PGA Tour is literally 10 minutes away from here and a bunch of PGA Tour players live here, TPC Sawgrass, so you can- And we found a lot of TP mills here too. Yeah, TPs all around, but let's go see if we can find something that's worthy of not TP. Not toilet paper. There you go, <laughs> nailed it. Whoa, tons of clubs over here on this little island of uh, golf. We got a, a killer bee. These things were super popular for a long time. It's like a long drive driver. This is a- 42 inch seven wood, which is insanely long. And then the chef. the chef. Yeah, that's a super cool on there. We've got an old school King Cobra seven wood. We've got a Founders Club. Bob Vokey was actually one of the uh, <laughs> founders. founders of it <laughs> before he went over to a Titleist. We got a McGregor Oil Harden. Some Ping I2s. Oh man, some Ping I2s. 499 a piece on that. You got the uh, four irons, eight iron, oh, three, yeah. four. I don't think it's a full set. I don't think set. it's a full set. Oh man, check these out. We got the uh, Hawkeyes. Those are one of the uh, first irons that I ever remember going for over a hundred or a hundred, over a thousand dollars uh, brand crazy. new 100 would be a good deal yeah 100 would be a good deal on that they still go for over a hundred dollars uh, we got an alien the makers of the uh, best-selling golf club of all time this is their uh, four wood not one of their uh, best sellers got another one of the uh, mcgregor oil hardens another one of the founders clubs got a prince hybrid which is more known for tennis yeah. oh check this out we got one of the browning irons <laughs> These things are ridiculously this low is profile. Than the ball. Yeah, if you get in the rough, that's going like right underneath it. So it's going to be very rough. It's going to be very rough to us, say the least. I feel like we've made that joke a thousand <laughs> yes. times. Got a Nicholas CGX right there. Got a, I think this is almost a full set of these Dunlop DDHs. Dunlop used to make uh, some really good stuff. I have no idea what, what is this that? is. An, I think that's a uh, Amazon Club Aurelis Century Tour Quality. It's tour quality though. Paint job is definitely not a tour quality <laughs> odd that. Got some interesting stuff in here, but I don't know if we need to pick up anything. Oh, we got Orlando Tremel. Did I mention that? No, I don't think it's so. One of the uh, better infomercials of all time would mm -hmm. be uh, Jesse Ortiz. He invented the uh, tri metal. He also had a Bobby Jones hybrid. He's a uh, pretty well known club maker. But uh, lots of interesting things in here. Don't know if we need to pick up anything. Like I said, we're trying to be a little bit more selective. Yeah. But Cool to see, though. Cool to see, though. Oh, we got Burton gloves and some hockey sticks. Not <laughs> also really, not hot sellers. <laughs> not hot sellers here in uh, Florida. I had a Burton jacket in uh, college and it got stolen. I wear that thing like every day. Yes, I remember it. It was a sad day. It was. Let's see if the uh, PGA Tour Superstore is not a sad day. Cause that's where we're headed next. That yes. wasn't, transitions are not very good so far. <laughs> Whoa, bonus stop. Ashley found this Dick Sporting is right on the way to the PGA Tour Superstore. So if yep. this is the best place that we stopped today, Ashley is the uh, still the star of the show. Yeah. If it's a waste of time, then you have to walk the rest of the road trip. Wow. Got a lot of pressure on this Dick Sporting Goods. Hopefully it delivers. This is a fancy double-decker Dick Sporting Goods, so it doubles your chances of not having to walk the rest of the trip. Hopefully. This place is gigantic. Do we miss, hopefully we didn't miss the, uh, didn't see it downstairs. No. Updates to come. Oh, pro, there we go, pro shop, driving range, sweet. Sweet, looks like they have a pretty decent little pre-owned section over here. Got some tailor-made stealths going for $5.79, not a bad deal. Got a, a left-handed tailor-made M2, the 2017 edition, going for $175. Got the uh, Sim 2. We actually just picked up a 9-wood of this, and Ashley and I are uh, arguing about that one. We're sharing it. We're sharing it. Joint custody <laughs> on that one so far. Let's see what else we got back here. Got an old-school RBZ, the Tour 3-wood, going for $49.99. It's actually a pretty good deal on that. 
especially given the uh, condition the white heads usually get messed up like crazy oh we got another uh, tailor made uh, m2 going for 175 the righty and the lefties are the same price got the uh, mandalorians over here the tsi threes the tsrs look even more like the uh, mandalorian helmet there are more used in the back the more what oh there's more sweet nice. got a bunch more over here another tailor made m2 yeah 109 dollars <laughs> on that one what else you got over there? Ping G425. Oh, we got an old school, one of the original uh, spin mills. That's cool. $55 on that one. Got the uh, Z. These things are so weird. This one, they're like biggest flops ever. Yeah. All pun intended because you could hit flop shots with it. But the idea behind these ones, the Z Groove uh, TP, you can like interchange the uh, faces on there. So when it wears out, but it wasn't didn't really. Stick. A, yeah, it didn't stick. Yeah. Wasn't a, uh, the stick to ness on that uh, model was, oh man, I've got a uh, Milgram. I actually have the 50, uh, 256 and I do not have the 60. $40 on that. There you go. We're definitely going to pick it up. It wasn't a wasted trip. Yes nice we'll go throw those actually in my bag right now <laughs> you see the clubs that we brought on our uh, trip i'm gonna try and play a little bit of golf 149.99 on the uh, callaway maverick got the apex utility there's a lot of left-handed stuff yeah. in here jacksonville's a lefty city apparently 160 dollars on that but i think we're definitely going to uh, pick up the uh, mill grind wedge and it off the walk a success all right next stop pga tour superstore i've only been to this one once before and i think we bought a six on fairway wood so that's the information I have for you. I'll meet you inside. <laughs> Man, they've got a ton of used irons in here. I don't know how this thing, it almost looks like it's uh, falling down. This is the most of used irons I've ever seen on one wall. You got the uh, TaylorMade cells going for 450. You got some Zegzio ladies clubs. These are usually pretty expensive, 550. Not a terrible deal on that. Under a thousand for the uh, G430s. That's a good deal. The ZX5 is going for a thousand. See if there's any uh, good deals. I don't need to read off every single one of them. You guys can like go back and see what the prices are if you uh, want to. 525 on the MP20s. Uh, not in the best shape on that. We got the 620s over here going for 500, which is uh, not in the best condition as well. Got the uh, King Cobra SZs going for 350. That's a pretty good deal. Rogue ST Pros. These have come down in value like crazy. Like oh, wow. two months ago, those were over a thousand dollars still. Got the G410s. Not the uh, most popular lineup of the. Uh, G series 299. Oh, it's only a uh, seven iron down to the uh, uh, pitching wedge. The G410 woods plummeted in value. The G400s are going for more than it, which is kind of a strange. Apex Pros, I think that's the 2009, yeah, 2019 model going for 500 paradigm irons already in here, going Jeez. for 1200. <laughs> Man, that is pretty intense. Got the oh, these are sweet. The Callaway Apex MB is going for 290. Dang, those were uh love to uh, say the least got the uh, apex dcbs those are some of the longest irons i've ever hit in my entire life 700 dollars on that with the graphite shafts grips have seen better days but those are insanely long Let's see we got a little bargain bundle thing over here there's some more woods behind us but this one is like a little bargain bundle i guess we got a uh, ping g30 12 degree going for 125 oh when the uh Odyssey exact chippers this is one of the more expensive uh, chippers yes. that you can get hundred dollars on that got a couple of old school ones right here got an sldr 430. We actually just uh, found one of the uh, Japanese tour preferred issue ones. So those kind of interesting. $160. Got the 0, 2, and 1, the cheaper of the uh, PXGs. Going for undetermined price on that one. Got a uh, X Hot. How much do you got over there? RBZ 4 one yeah, or 4 iron? $22. $22. Got $70 on the uh, X Hot. What else do we have down here? G400 hybrid. Not seeing anything overly uh, interesting. Let's see what we got over here on this little section. Looks like we got some lefty stuff. JPX 923s, the Apexes, P79. How much? Oh, we got some uh, G Maxes. Not a uh, more common one. No, I don't remember that one. 230 of the uh, G Series Max. Got the G425s going for 59. Wasn't it the same price as the, I oh, don't know, the G430s were a little bit more. A bunch of uh, lefty clubs in here. The G430 already in here going for $500. If you're going to buy a $500 driver, probably recommend getting it. I yes. do because you get a free custom fitting along with it. Got a Cleveland launcher XL. Sometimes you can find deals on that. $200 right there. Let's see. Oh, we got the Apex UW Utility, $135. Really like that club. We've tried it out a few times. Got the Paradigm X hybrids in here. Six hybrid, which will hold its value way better than the. Uh, stronger lofty ones always like if you find like the super high lofted hybrids they go for crazy amounts even like you know 10 15 years later got the uh, ping g25 going for 50 dollars oh callaway xr 
How do I always miss that? <laughs> yeah. Whenever we find the Callaway XR uh, drivers, they're always cracked, so maybe yeah, it's a uh, natural. Yeah, just... instinctively. Oh, we got the Dyna Powers. Haven't seen these uh, yet. The uh, yeah. only yeah, that looks uh, pretty sweet. What else we got over here? Oh, we got a Kalia Premier, the ladies. How oh, much yeah, is that going for? Two ninety nine. Oh, it looks like someone parted had like a full it. set and then they parted it out. Uh, what else we got over here? Oh, we got one of the uh, Aerojets, the Cobra Aerojets, the first that we found used. Four hundred and seventy dollars on that. We've tried out basically every single one of uh, this year's drivers except for this one. I don't know if it's because like people don't like it and they're not buying it, so no one's returning it, or they really like it and they're not returning it. That we definitely have to uh, try yes. that out. What shaft is in there? Uh, oh, that would be perfect for me. 60 gram stiff flex. Sweet. How much is that going? 470. Not <laughs> test it out. Test it out. Oh, we got a yeah, TaylorMade M1 high launch, the uh, 12 degree. That is pretty sweet as well. But we're definitely going to uh, try out the uh, Aerojet. Dang, that is uh, pretty sweet. Oh, we got a whole little bag over here of all uh, wedges. Wow. Oh, we got some PXG sugar daddies. 54, 58. It's like a Dang. Stacked to the room. Stacked to the room. Got one of the uh, newer Ben Hogan's. Well, I shouldn't say newer because it just, well, it's newer than some of them, but they just went out of uh, business, sadly. Really like the wedges. You got the uh, Bet Nardi wedges, old school oil can. We'll let you know if we find anything in terms of the uh, wedges. We're definitely going to uh, try out the uh, Aerojet. Sweet. Sweet. Complete our series. First, world's first used review. There you go. There you go. Nailed it. All right, the Cobra Aerojet. Let's see if it's uh, the best driver because no one's returning it or no one's buying it. If that makes sense. Did I explain that correctly? I think so. Yeah. More than, better than I yeah, normally explain things. We've got a 60 gram Diamana shaft or the Achillea shaft in there. I think the uh, longest one that we've hit so far is the Stealth. We got that over 300, but it was impossible to control. And then the TSR2 is like the best combination of uh, distance and forgiveness. But let's see if the uh, Cobra can beat all of those options. Oh, that one's super high. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. That's okay. Okay, uh, I do 70. Yeah, so that's about average for what I've been hitting them uh, this year. Dead straight, basically. And this thing is ridiculously straight. That's crazy. Uh -huh. Honestly, I think it's probably the best. Wow. That is about as accurate or as least as consistent as I could hit two drives. Do one more. Okay. Yeah. Try to turn that one over. Usually, get a little few more yards on it. Two eighty-seven. That is up there. That is up there. I like that one. All right, I hit a few more with the uh, Aerojet and I really liked it, but I just saw that they had the uh, TSR2 in here, which was my other favorite uh, driver of the year. We'll do a little head-to-head -head hazardous 5.5, not the exact same setup, but- You gotta do it for science. Science purposes. Let's see if we can get this one past the Aerojet. Oh, it's still going. 294. So I think the only one we've gotten over is the uh, Stealth. And this one has been very accurate with when I hit it in the past. And it's longer than the uh, Aerojet. This one yeah. is the overall best. One more, one more. I'll be very happy to find a set thrift store in 10 years. <laughs> go, 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 go. It's like basically as accurate as I'm ever going to be hitting at 294 yards. I think the uh, TS2, or the TSR2, is the winner so far this year. Now you know. Now you know. All right, folks, I think that is going to do it for us. We're actually in Hilton Head right now. <laughs> this is a major uh, time gap because we filmed a, a video for the uh, main channel. And stay tuned if you're uh, not subscribed to that. We're having our huge 200,000 subscriber yes. giveaway this month. All you have to do is comment on a random video on that channel, and that will enter you in to win a uh, custom Black Oxide Scotty Cameron. But uh, yeah, enough about that. The TSR2. That thing was awesome. The Aerojet was like oh, yeah. ridiculously forgiving, but the uh, TSR2 is forgiving and long. So I think it's the winner. Yeah, if year. I find that the in, unofficial winner, the unofficial <laughs> winner. If we find that in ten years at a, a Goodwill, I'll be very happy. Yes. But uh, also very happy. We're going to our favorite restaurant right there. 
Salty Dog Restaurant. Well, it's our favorite restaurant here. It's yeah. one of our favorite restaurants ever. Even though it's a tourist trap, it's really good. It's really good. Especially their happy hour specials. Mm -hmm. They got like nachos happy. for like five dollars. They've yeah, got like bruschetta. They have fish one dollar pizza. One dollar yeah, pizza. Which is like surprisingly really good pizza. Yeah, I'm a snob. I grew up right next to a New Haven. I still like their pizza. <laughs> but uh, hope you guys did like this video and you were, even if you were a snob, you like this. I got none. You got nothing. But I'm hope hungry. you guys did like this video. Really <laughs> subscribe and we'll see, you we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.